Well, what's up, what's up, Facebook, um, <clears throat> everybody out there. I guess everybody want to know exactly what happened Sunday night at the club in Bayou City in Houston, Texas. Um, first off, I wasn't fighting over Tariko at all. I don't have to. That's not my man. That's Yahim's man. Um, man, Yahim been beefing before this Tariko shit. Yahim just opened his mouth too much and think he could talk shit and read people. And I don't let it slide. I don't let, uh, certain stuff I let slide, but when you constantly keep picking, it's like you keep pushing my buttons to the point where you want me to continue to like beat your ass. So I pay a lot of stuff. I paid him. I paid him. So Sunday, I guess him and Tariko was going through their little situation in the club or whatever with him picking with Tariko, him and his friends. So anyway... I was in VIP, and I had asked Tariko and Kyla, were they okay? Yahim turns around to Tariko and says, what the fuck did she just say to you? Which struck me because, first off, you don't know you don't know me like that to be calling me out my name for one. For two, I already owe your ass an ass whooping. So, I turned around and I told Tariko, I said, uh, you better get your little bitch because she know I don't fuck with her like that. And I turned around. When I turned around, she grabbed my shirt, pulled my shirt, and said, what the fuck you say to Tariko? And I popped her ass, and that's when we started fighting. Um, this has nothing to do with Tariko at all. Everybody want to know if I'm sleeping with Tariko? No, I'm not sleeping with Tariko. Tariko is my baby daddy, though, and I'm his baby mama, so... As far as sleeping together, no, we're not sleeping together. That's something that we just call each other. Um, and for all of those people that's out there saying that I'm moving to Houston to be with Tariko, or I kick Yahim out, or whatever the shit y'all got going on, all y'all faggots and punks all out there just making up y'all own story because y'all don't know the real story. <laughs> I've been moving to Houston. And it would not be moving to Houston to move with no Tariko at all. I'm going to be in my own shit. And um, wouldn't be laying in the bed that another bitch been laying in. A filthy bitch at that. Um, so, as far as y'all uh, accumulating and making up all these stories that I'm moving to Houston for Tariko or with Tariko, no. False. I'm single. I've been single for a long time. I'm going to keep it that way. I don't want a man. Just because this simple reason right here. These men are insecure is a fuck. So, um, when did I cover everything? Because y'all making up so many so many stories about this whole fight situation about Tariko and I'm sleeping with Tariko and Yahim. And no, man, Yahim ain't messing around either, FYI. She's not my type. First, she need to learn how to get her motherfucking head out her shell. Or go get circumcised or something, because I don't mess with boys like that. Um, pretty much, I don't regret anything that I did Sunday, because honestly, I don't care, for one. For two, you're not going to put your hands on me. You don't think I'm going to retaliate back on your ass, because I don't deal with that type of bullshit, period. And everybody already knows that. How I'm short-tempered, so... As far as someone putting their hands on me or even grabbing me, that is just like a no-no. So, it's like it's hot. But anyway, um, no, uh, this all occurred. Man, Tariq, I mean, man, uh, Yahim been beefing. It's nothing to do with Tariko. It's just Yahim just a hater, as always. He can't take me, as always. Um, just the fact that he just needs to grow up, and he's not done growing. And everybody keep telling me, yo, you so much better than that. You don't got to fight, and this and this and this. Stay out of my inbox telling me what I don't got to fucking do. Or I'm too good for this. Or too... If anybody put their hands on y'all, I don't give a fuck if they... When somebody step in this space here or somebody touches you, period, you're going to retaliate because you're not going to let nobody put their hands on you. Exactly what I did. Because she could have talked shit all night because I could talk shit all night. As long as you don't put your hands on me. When you put your hands on me, it's a different story. Don't touch me, period. I don't like bitches I don't fuck with to touch me, period. So, 
when she put her hands on me, I put my hands on her. So she didn't think it was gonna go how she thought it was gonna go. So, I mean, which is usually normal in these cases when these bitches try to fuck with me. So it don't usually go how you think it's gonna go. So, and whoever her little friend is that tried to jump in, um, I'm glad you did, and <laughs> because it wouldn't, it would have went a whole different way. So, for those of you who was inquiring about the fight, there it is. Um, had nothing to do with Tariko, and everybody wanted to know what Tariko was when we were fighting. Why he didn't break it up? It happened so I snatched her up so quick. I mean, he was nowhere to be found because they snatched him up and took him out of the club because Yahim's other friend tried to, I mean, I guess come in in his face or ask him something. I don't know. But they took him outside while me and uh, Yahim was fighting. Um, so that's why he didn't break it up. And if he still was there trying to break it, wouldn't have worked because nobody couldn't get me off of her ass. So um, that's what Tariqo was. So all the Tariko fans and little boos and whatever, I'm not sleeping with Tariko. And for those of you said that I said I was number one in Tariko's life, um, I said I'm number one to Tariko. I'm his baby mama. Being funny and being catty, but at the end of the day, Tariko know what the deal is, and so does everyone else that's around us that know us. No, that me and Tariko is not nothing like that. It's just a whole little, this little gay shit or whatever, baby daddy, baby mama bullshit, whatever. But it don't be nothing that serious. People just take stuff and they run with it. But at the end of the day, if I did want Tariko, I could have Tariko. I mean, he knows that. And so does Jaheem. So that's probably why she feels so intimidated. But again, there you have it about the fight, the bullshit, or whatever. So, I'm done talking about it. I don't want to discuss it anymore. And I don't need nobody hit me up, asking me about the fight no more because it's over with. It happened Sunday. Today is Tuesday. I'm done with it. I don't care about it. As long as nobody approached me again about it, we won't have no problems. But other than that, I'm cool. I got other stuff going on. And I wish I wouldn't even let myself get to that point to just react like that because I caught myself trying to change. But you know, we all try to change. We all do still go through little ups and downs in the process of changing. But again, that's something that I should not have let just push me to the point to where I had to show my ass. But again, once you put your hands on me, it's a different story with me. So, I mean, it is what it is. Shit happens, but I don't regret it. But I do apologize to all of my friends, fans, and family that I kind of disappointed Sunday, but at the end of the day, y'all still understood exactly how I felt and where I was coming from. And for those of you who don't like me, don't respect me, don't care for me, I honestly don't care. <laughs> I really don't care because y'all do not honestly do anything for me, for Germany, so. And it really don't bother me because I still live and breathe without all of the bullshit from you all. So, and for those of you who do respect me, love me, and understand me, <laughs> vice versa, you know, I live and everything for you all. But other than that, I'm good. As you can see, as always, you know, I look a little rough today. Guess I enjoy my family here in San Antonio for the Christmas break. And I will see you all in Tampa on New Year's Eve. I will be in Tampa New Year's Eve um, at the Centerfold Show. Um, I will be performing that night. So if you're in Tampa on New Year's Eve, please come out and show love at the Centerfold Show. Um, it's going to be a hot show. You know, we have great entertainers from all over, and I will be in the building. So, if you're in Tampa, come look, uh, come check your boy out. I will be there. You all have a blessed and wonderful holiday, and I will talk to you whenever.